Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about camp tables. Now everybody knows that you need a good solid surface to prepare your uh, meals on and whatnot. Just some utility space. Say you're out overlanding and there's not a provided camp table or whatnot. Or maybe you're you're camping and you just want a designated surface to prepare your food on, to, to house your uh, camp stove. No matter what kind of camping trip I'm, I'm going on, I do bring um, at least two of the three options that I'm about to show you. So let's start with option number one, which I always have on me. And that's obvious because it's my mountain or my uh, mountain hatch tailgate insert. And so this thing works great, especially if I'm on an overlanding trip and I'm by myself, maybe not with the kids, maybe with not a big group of people. I'm only preparing food for just myself and I don't need a ton of space. This thing is great because I don't have to bring anything extra. Um, it works as a great functional surface to prepare food on, um, to obviously, there's a nice flat surface that I can put my camp stove on and cook my meals. So that thing is great. I'm not sponsored by Mountain Hatch. And you're probably gonna hear me talk about Mountain Hatch quite a bit just because it's something that I use all the time. Now, something that I've run into using my uh, tailgate as a table is that I do have this deck drawer system. And if I forgot to bring out something that I need for cooking, then opening these drawers, obviously while you got things cooking on the stove can be kind of a hassle. And so when, if it's just, if it's just me by myself, it's not really a big deal um, because I'm usually not using too much. I don't have a ton of food that I'm preparing, but if I've got my family, then normally I've just got stuff everywhere. And then I've got a I've actually run into it where I've got to pick up the whole stove, put it on top of the deck system while things are cooking. It's kind of a mess. And so um, that's something that I would like to avoid when I'm with bigger groups. So that brings me to the um, next table that I like to use, and that's going to be a roll top table. And this is the Mountain Summit uh, black roll top table. And so this is the large one. As you can kind of see, I put the camping stove on there just to give you guys some perspective. I'm actually not cooking anything right now. I just wanted to pull this out and show you guys what I'm working with. Um, so this thing is a much bigger surface, obviously, than uh, the tailgate, which uh, is great. More room to prepare stuff. Plus, I can still access my drawers, which I really like because I leave all of my cooking and uh, utensils, all that kind of stuff, in these drawers full time. I know everything is, and so... I don't have a lot to pit, uh, take out and put away and I just, it makes things really efficient. Um, so like I said, if I'm going by myself, I'm probably not gonna bring anything just because I don't want the extra weight and it's just one less thing that I have to pack. But if I'm co cooking food for multiple people and I've got quite a production going on, this is great, a great alternative. All right, so the next table surface that I wanna show you guys is this also made by mountain summit is this mountain summit um it's a roll top but like whole kitchen setup and so this thing is really cool if you're going camping for multiple days you're going to be at the same camp uh campsite not moving around obviously it's a bit more work to set up but it's really cool because you can um store a whole bunch of uh you know pots and pans stuff that you're going to be continuously using over your trip um as well as maybe like coffee mugs plates all that kind of stuff in here it's got room for you to prepare some food as well as keep your stove. Um, just a lot of surface area. Now this thing doesn't pack down as small. It, this is uh, the case that it comes in. So obviously when it's in here, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger. And so it's a little bit more inconvenient to bring along. So when I'm going on an overlanding trip, I think this will obviously be an overlanding trip with the family at least. This will obviously be my go-to because it's less work. It's a smaller setup area and it definitely gets the job done. If I'm by myself, definitely taking the tailgate. But if we're going camping at like a national park or something where we're gonna kind of be hanging out for a couple days, I'm still gonna be bringing this. Um, I think it's a really great surface and uh, it will definitely get the job done. Thanks for watching you guys. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, I'll make sure that I link to all three of these in the description um, so that you guys know where to find them. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. This is just what I've chosen to spend my money on and it, it's, a, it's what works for us. So with that being said, thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time. One more note, make sure you keep our wilderness areas clean. I, I stumbled across this area and I purposely chose to do the video here because it was so bad. So I'm going to pick up some trash before I leave here. Make sure you do the same when you're out and about. Take care of our wild spaces so that they remain open to us and 
we can have them for years to come for us and our children. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Hope to see you out there.